wondering how to create spaces in your Instagram captions so it's not just one huge unreadable paragraph. Make sure you watch this video to learn not only my favorite hack for creating spaces in your captions, but also how to structure the whole look of your caption so that your followers read to the end every time. For the best business advice for creatives, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video every Wednesday. Hi there, I'm Emma Natter and I help creatives beat the business odds and create their own success. I know how annoying those smushed up Instagram captions are, like really Instagram fix it already. My clients always ask how to navigate around this and today I'm going to give you the same iPhone hack that I teach them in order to get those flawless captions. If you write your caption on Instagram, you'll notice that even if you type it up with all of your cute little spaces, they disappear once you post. So don't write them in there. All you have to do is open your notes app and write your caption right there. Then just copy and paste it into the Instagram post draft and boom, you've got space in your captions. But just because you have spaces in your post doesn't mean people will actually read it, right? You have to fill in those blocks of text with the right words for people to finish reading. All you have to do is follow this simple three part structure to make sure people read all the way down. This is my copywriting go-to that has made all the difference for me in writing captions, words on my Instagram stories, emails, sales pages, websites, you name it. Structuring your writing for the skimmer. Skimmers read the stuff that jumps out at them and they leave the rest of the boring stuff in the dust. Just to be safe, just assume that everyone who will ever read anything of yours will be skimming. And one of the most important places on your Instagram account to cater to the skimming reader isn't even in your caption, it's in your Instagram bio. If you're constantly feeling like your bio just doesn't communicate who you are and what you can do for people, check out my video with the seven must haves for an Instagram bio that attracts more followers and gets them to press that magical follow button. Back to serving skimmers in your captions. So what jumps out most for skimmers? It's the first part of my simple three part structure headlines and subheadings. These are the words you see at the tops of websites, sections of a book you're reading and anything else. Usually it's a signal to the reader like, hey, this is the start of a new section, pay attention. How do they capture this attention? They often use a bigger bolded font. They use enticing words to attract attention. Now using enticing words to attract attention, we can hack that. Just open your news app, scroll through and click on a headline or an opening line to an article that gets your attention. Then use the same structure to write the first line of your caption. But using a bigger bolded font, that's a little trickier on Instagram. You can't make your text bigger or bold on your Instagram captions, but use what resources you do have. For now, that's capitalizing your headlines and subheadings. You can start your caption in all caps, and then if you have another moment to really draw attention to, capitalize that as well. You can also use emojis to grab attention. They're colorful and fun and they do the job too. Comment below with the top three emojis in your most recently used so we can get some ideas for fun new emojis to try in our headlines. The second part of my simple three part formula is the content of the post. This is what goes in between your headlines and subheadings. This is where you write your story, what you're teaching, your observation, what, you, what have you. This is the meat of your content. This is what makes you excited, what you wanted to share in the first place, what all that work to get people's attention with that heading was for anyway. Then part three is when you ask them to actually do something, AKA the call to action. Don't skip this part. Even if the first 10 times that you try it, no one does it. It's not because they won't eventually, they might just need a little coaxing or you might need to keep experimenting with different questions to ask until you find something they actually want to respond to. This could include double tapping, commenting below to answer a question or going to the link in your bio to grab your freebie. Now you know exactly how to create spaces in your captions and to keep people reading all the way to the end of your caption. But what about what to actually write? I have five free fill in the blank captions that you can infuse your own ideas and own voice into to create captions that will convert your audience into customers. The link is below. Also, if you want to connect with me and a community of creatives just like you, come say hi over on Instagram. I'm at Emma underscore Natter. And if you like this video, please let me know by liking it below. Subscribe and share it with your fellow creative friends and comment below with using it if you're planning to implement this Instagram caption structure. Talk to you soon.